Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2020 SHOT Show is sponsored by Hog Holsters and Olight Flashlights. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2020 SHOT Show. And I'm really excited to find an old friend here, Dustin from Wazoo Survival Gear. Dustin, thanks so much, man, for taking a minute. He's, he's really busy. He's trying to... Um, have you seen Wazoo on the channel before? You've seen him. We went to, to some survival training together. We've, we've looked at their stuff. And... Um, you kind of re, kind of you kind of re, re, realigned your business a little bit, kind of scale things down and, and focused on some some core products. And um, so, tell us what, what you got going on here. This is really cool. I think we've looked at the uh, we looked at the belt before, maybe the hat. Just you kind of kind of try to point things in one direction. Yeah. Well, if you recall, the paracord bracelets were one thing that got us really good started, and we made the most comprehensive paracord bracelets in the market. Twenty plus tools built into a wrist wearable survival kit. Well, we've continued that evolution of everyday carry that you can have on you and you can use in the worst case scenario, but also on a daily basis. And so that's evolved into us making hats with pockets in it so you can keep survival gear in your hat, the belt, the cash belt. We call that kind of that comprehensive approach, the cash wear collection. So those are gonna be things that you can wear on a daily basis. You're not kind of pointed at and laughed at from wearing weird tactical over the top stuff. And yet they carry some essential tools you can use on a daily basis just to do solve like simple things, uh, something like cord or a small knife, or any other things you can carry in one of the kits that we have for the, the hat or the belt. It can save you on a daily basis, but also can save you in a worst case scenario, worse like, fall out of the plane, yeah. drag yourself on the beach. So but, kind of kind of uh, both of those everyday carry as well as the most uh, emergency situation. So one thing I noticed, if I'm, I think the original hats had buttons on them and you lost the button, which is good because that just, you know, that's just something if you're wearing, you can use, it makes it more versatile than me. Yeah, and everything we're trying to do is make it as more versatile as possible. So there's a lot of those elements that are that go into the hat. Those like good eye, good, good thing to point that out. Like for head protection or, or hearing, yeah. hearing protection and other yeah. things like that. There's not really a necessity. So we've really streamlined a lot of the things. It's streamlined the brand, streamlined our products, and if it's not necessary, cut it out. Yeah. So, for example, this just kind of give us a quick rundown of the cash hat. Yeah, so we have, we, we most recently came out with a couple different colors. One of our initial colors was the black, and we also had a gray. The gray had a lot of logos on it. People, the feedback we were getting was, you know, a little bit too much. Too, we want to be more gray man. So we've made everything more subdued. So all the, if it says Wazoo on it, it says it so minimally that only someone who's close up to you or knows what to look for is going to see that. And so it's really gray man. And uh, we went with a black, a coyote, a camo, and we did those with patches and without patches. And then alternative to the black of the patch, we did a gray man, gray version. And then inside the caps where all the, the sexiness is, we got six secret pockets hidden inside. So on the brim are three. So this is a Velcro pocket. This is gonna close up and, and you can put, like we make those cord tubes, so you can have fishing line and saws and wire in there, or something as simple as a, a key, how extra house key just in case. We have these side slits, which you can fit small things into. We make it so that it can fit our little small folding knife, as well as a ferro rod, but you could just put a toothpick in there, for example. And then inside, we have uh, three other additional pockets. When, when the things are closed in the pockets, you actually don't really see anything in there. It's a, it's a breathable mesh, but it's not see-through. So even if you drop your hat on the ground, it's meant to be still camouflaged in the hat. And you can fit a lot of stuff in there, of course. Things are the size of a business card, like Grimm's survival kit, Grimm's uh, survival cards, those would fit in there in a lot of different versions, or any of the other things that are in our cash kits. So we make those survival kits, um, that like the adventure kit and the everyday essentials, right. and those things would fit in there as well. So people can buy just a hat, you can buy just the hat. They yes. can buy the hat with, with accessories. They can accessorize their hat with, with high quality. You can accessorize gear. your accessories. Yeah, there you go. Because, yeah. And what, what I've said this before, I'm not just sucking up, but yes. what I like about the, all the survival gear stuff that you've got is like really good quality stuff. Even like the fishing line, you can you can tell the difference. I and mean, you really can't tell the difference, I promise you, man. 50 pound braided Spectra made in the USA moss green yeah. fishing line. Yeah, like the real stuff <laughs> yeah. that you can actually use and catch a fish with. And, so, and well, I think it's cool that you got the different colors. And some of this I noticed is ripstop. Yes, sir. So that, that's lightweight and breathable. And exactly. Just, um, very comfortable. It dries quickly, just the whole nine yards. Exactly. So, and while we're here, you also have the cash belt. 
Still have the cash Last time we talked, I think you were just that was just getting off the ground. That was like a couple of years ago when we did that survival, survival, whatever the thing was, three or four wins or whatever it was. Yes, yeah, so uh -huh. and you um. But so we only had the black at that now. time too. Yeah, yeah. So more recently, and this is very recent, uh, we came out with the other colors. So we have also to match your hat. Essentially, we have the coyote brown, and then we have real multi cam uh, camouflage web right. belt as well. And how many pockets are in the belt? One large pocket. Okay. So, so for a medium sized belt, which is probably what you would wear. Uh, you got 27 inches, and then we have that patented Velcro system that That's more right. than like a zipper style belt, this is going to provide more volume. Yeah, so it's just one big, you can put whatever you want in there, wherever you want it, and rearrange it so you're not stuck to a certain pocket system. And you can actually reach into it and grab the stuff while you're wearing it. Yeah, which yeah. is cool. So great. So anything special coming up, sneak previews, anything you got? Big news in the, in the future? I think we're going to focus on expanding some of these in different designs. We're always kind of come out with a couple new things. We just did a cash beanie. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't I didn't show you this before we jumped on and did this video, but we had a beanie that has a secret pocket in it. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about it much because we put it on the market and it sold out within two hours. Oh, wow. So we're waiting on the new lot of those That's to come back cool. in. That's yeah. cool. So, but you still have it on your website. You still have a lot of the separate things too. Yes, you know, oh, a lot more. You know, you got uh, one thing I really like is the Viking pendant. You still do the Viking pendant, right? The still, uh, we, yeah. That this is one of our best sellers for yeah. sure. Um, it just didn't. It didn't show well for the show. We still sell a lot of other yeah. wearable kits. We still do the necklaces, fire necklace, and all that. Yeah, so pretty cool stuff. So, well, stay tuned for more from Wazoo Survival Gear as we go down through the year. But I'm um, just thanks so much for taking time, Justin, for talking to us. And um, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2020 shot. So remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.